Let's look at this joseki. Black is in 3-4 point, white high approaches, black low pincers. Next, white can play diagonal here, it can jump here, or it can attach here. For this, black can either honey here or here. Let's see if black honey is here. White cuts for sure. Black pushes. White wedges. If black wants territory, black can atari here. Then white atari is here. If black captures, white captures. That's an easy joseki. If, if black descends, white connects. Next, black plays here. White descends, black turns, white pushes, black plays here, and white makes extension. In this joseki, black gets the territory, and white gets the outside influence. Notice, at this point, instead of playing here, if black plays here, then white can cut here. Black cannot atari because white has this double atari. So black has to connect, then white atari is here. Next, black needs to play here, otherwise if white descends, this black group is dead. So black plays here, white plays here. And this result is good for white because white outside is very strong. That's why at this point the correct play for black is here. And that's the correct joseki. Let's see, at this point instead of attiring here black can also atari here. Then white descends, black ataris, white descends, black plays here. If white has the ladder, in other words, if white has stones along this diagonal line, then white can play here. If not, then white cannot play here, because black can group here, and next white ataris, if white turns, then black would atari these two white stones and it's game over. If white has the ladder breaker and black cannot ladder these two white stones, then black should play here. White jumps, black plays here. White ataris, black pushes, ataris, ataris, and ataris here. White turns. This is another fair joseki. White gets this side and black gets this side. So now, if white don't have the ladder, white should play here, Atari. Then black Atari is here, white Atari is, black connects. And that's another joseki. Locally, it's good for black because this group has better shape than this one. But white gets sente, so it's still a fair joseki. Last but not the least is instead of hanaiing here, black can play here. 
Now this is a trick play. White plays here, and black cuts. What should white do? If white are tarries, now white is in trouble. White cannot push here because black and Atari and Atari here. And if white connects here, then black hanes and captures these two white stones. So that's the wrong move. The correct one is hane. Okay, back it off a little bit. White don't want to do this either. If white Ataris, black connects. If white hanes, black hanes, white connects, and this result is bad for white. White corner is little and the black outside is very strong. So this is also bad for white. Now this Atari is not good. White should simply hane here. If black hane is, then white can Atari. Black descends, white pushes, black arteries, white extends, black arteries, white arteries, and this result is good for white because this white group is in very good shape. Also, at this point, if white really wants to capture these two black stone, it can force the issue by Atari in here. Black has to play here, white Ataris, and then white pushes here. Black Ataris, white Ataris, capturing these two black stones. So, Black Hanais here is the wrong move. What black should do is to Hanai here. White extends, black plays here. Then white extends. If black has the ladder, black can play here, laddering this to white stones. If not, black should play here. White Ataris black Ataris. And this is the way to play when black starts this move. And that's the end of Joseki. White plays here, black plays here, here. That's it. Thanks.